Hello my lovelies, Rob here from Kickback Garage. Today, I am going to be hopefully completing my uh, rebuild of my uh, Lambretta LI 150 1960 stock waffling. Send the intro. <laughs> Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. Man kørte det med regn, alle sprang i lag og ville komme under tak. Ingen av oss merket at du hadde falt i flak, for var det du å dra? Hvem i faen kunne se den komme? Da høsten tok over, sa vi hadde bra til å somme. Right, this is the time or the stage in the game where uh, if you're gonna scratch some paint, you're gonna do it now. <laughs> it's, oh... Do I hate this? No, I don't hate it, but it is a little bit tricky and you have to be a bit careful when you fit your leg shields. Now, I've made this <laughs> even more difficult for myself because I have fit uh, rubber strips on the backside of the, um, of the leg shields because uh, it, it does touch the frame and vibrate a bit, this scooter. So uh, a couple of years ago, I, I sort of stuck some... Uh, uh, rubber on the leg shield to prevent it doing that but it does make it a little bit tighter to fit um, this time around I've actually stuck it on literally with some uh, super glue and uh, let me uh, show you that right so this is my leg shield as you can see I have fit a should I try and there you go I'll give you a proper look at that afterwards uh, this is uh, 1957 uh, transfer original transfer really really hard to fit uh, the, the clue about these things is you have to fit them while your leg shields are flat. So that's why I fit it before now. And I'm sort of risking the chance of uh, tearing it or something like that while I put the leg shields on. But uh, anyway, that's uh, <laughs> just going to have to be careful, basically. I like these. Uh, the first Lambretta I ever restored had one of these uh, pinups on. Not a naughty one, just a, a nice one. And uh, because I've got sort of a green theme going, I chose this one here. Now, back to the nitty gritty. So here, in this area, a couple of years ago, when I took off the leg shields, I noticed uh, that it had been rubbing here. And I did have like sort of a nasty vibration on the leg shield itself. I've actually seen original ones. I'm pretty sure they've got something similar in this area here. I'm not sure. I think so. I think so. Someone correct me, please. If you've taken a, uh, an original Lambretta apart, you might have seen uh, these, especially on the Series 2. But anyway, I've also fit one right on the bend here as well, because this one uh, is also an area where the um, leg here was touching. So now I am going to have to uh, attempt to fit this. The uh, Can you see that? Oh, yes, you can. Um I fit my headset because I wanted to sort out my electrics and I wanted to fasten my uh, wiring loom in place there. Uh, it makes it a little bit more tricky because it goes out a little bit more here. So if you if you can avoid that, I think it's easier if you uh, fit it without the headset. I have uh, borrowed my wife's favorite bath towel. She's out walking the dog, so I think I'm pretty safe. I've also fit, I have to uh, angle you down a little bit, I uh, probably can't see it. I hate not having zoom. But I, I have fit the uh, anti-vibration rubbers. One of them, of which, has fallen off. <laughs> Why have you fallen off, you little bugger? Uh, it's still a bit tacky. So I like to, I like to fit these with uh, some... Um, I can always sort of push it in there afterwards, but it's easier if they sort of stay in place. But uh, I fit these with uh, silicone sealant just to uh, hold them into place. And I use the same type for the whole scooter. That's sort of a rule I have. If I use MB rubbers, I use MB rubbers for the whole scooter. And if I use, and the reason for that is these are Castle Lambretta. The reason why I do that is because there are some varying thick, uh, various thicknesses. And that can also work out as well. If you've sort of got a low spot on your rear um, footboard, uh, then you can use the thicker rubbers to uh, lift it up a little bit. But uh, here, uh, everything's straight and nice, so I'm going to be just using these Casa ones. Right. Uh, the trickiest bit, really, is 
I sort of lower the leg shields down. I'll show you how I do it. Lower the leg shields down. Uh, try and get it clear of there. You do have to do a bit of bendy bendy. So that's why you really need something on your covering your uh, frame loop. And another difficult bit is uh, trying to splay these out a little bit so you can like get your cables on the inside there before you fit them. And when I fit it, I just fit it very, very loosely on this. And that is so I can uh, move, move the leg shield. I'll show you, I'll show you. But first we'll attempt at trying to get this thing in. Ooh, scary. This is probably the part of the video where I drop my leg shields. Not very clever, Rob, but. Right, let's, let's hope that does something to protect it and I'll, uh, let's see if we can get it on. The best thing to do is go grab a buddy. It's easier if you're two on this job here. So let's see if I can get it in there. Oh, this is horrible, horrible, horrible. And I've obviously got a chalk lever as well there that's uh, sort of in the way. Damn, why is it not? I have to really lift it up. Ah, oh, watch my headset. Right, so I'm under my chalk. <laughs> We're not home. We're not on the home stretch yet. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. How am I gonna get my cables under there? How am I gonna get my cables under there? Oh, there she is. Under the, oh, that was a good job that I had that tape there. <laughs> that would be so disappointing. I really, what did I do last time? I think I put my knee on the back. No! I've ripped Turid's head off. Oh, luckily she would. Oh, no. That was so. No. We're all right. We're all right. The head came off uh, Turid, my pin up, and uh, I actually managed to get it back on there. It's still a little bit wet. Maybe we should dry it with a hairdryer or something so it doesn't move around. Oh, my goodness. So many things that can go wrong here. I think I did a bit of this action. Um, just trying to get those. There you go. Just the... Oh. They're quite hard to come by, these are, but I don't think you'll notice that. But anyway, what, what I was doing, I'm trying to get these cables uh, behind my leg shield. So I'm sort of pulling it towards me and pulling it out a little bit and trying to push the leg shield away from the frame so I can tuck them in there. There we go. That's one side done. I think that looks, looks really nice. It might be a little bit corny, but it's sort of a thing that I used to do and I wanted to uh, do it again. She's not quite... She's not quite... She might maybe a little bit crooked, but that's only part of the... Uh, part of the charm, I suppose. Now, I'm wondering if I can get <laughs> if I can get that tape back off again. Anyway, let's uh, see if I can do the same here as well. I need to move the headset like so. And try not to... I just sort of bend it with my knee. Right, what's the first cable that has to go through there? It's this one. It's the cables cables. The wiring loom. If you if you're two, you sort of can open it up a little bit and uh, 
stick them in there one side at a time but I'm on my onesies on my lonesome <coughs> okay so far so good I have had a right old time trying to uh, line up these uh, footboards with my leg shields uh, I'm not sure why to tell you the truth I know it's <laughs> this can be a pain in the bum to do and it's definitely a pain in the bum to do by yourself because what I ended up doing was loosely fitting the two screws that fit on the front strut there on both sides and I had to gently push the uh, footboards or the leg shields into the frame sort of and then tighten those, tighten those down and the first time I did it I ended up with like yeah sort of no gap whatsoever here and a big gap on the back side there so I had to uh, loosen the screws again and give it another go and uh, as you can see I have now got a nice uniform gap between the I really really hate it when they touch <laughs> because that that leads to vibration noises and stuff like that and uh, you should have a little bit of leeway as the uh, slots on the uh, footboards are overlaid. you should really be able to have a little bit of leeway and if you have to you have to sort of gently press it forwards there in in the middle so I'm actually pretty pleased with that what I'm not pleased about is I've scratched my head cold <laughs> Just a little bit at the back here, probably impossible to see at this angle, but uh, what I've noticed is it's really, really tight. Now, I, f I fit, you might be able to see, you might may not be able to see, but I fit like a clear protective tape so that I don't scratch these things when I put them in and out. And uh, these rear footboards, they, they were painted last year, actually. I haven't painted them this year, and that's why they were a little bit dirty, need a bit of a clean. But uh, the nightmare here is I, re I have to take off this again because um, my flywheel cowl is not on. And the reason for that is I have to fire this thing up and check that I'm at 17 degrees. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, remove this side at least. I've got it nicely lined up. That's one of my pet hits. I hate it when there's like a bigger gap on one side than the other. But there is some leeway. So what I can do now is tighten down the two bolts on the top there in front on the in front of the horn cast uh, to the frame. I can tighten these down properly and I'll fit my runners. As you can see, obviously I have to fit the outside and the inside because they're the two on a series uh, two at least. They are the and one. <laughs> they are the ones that uh, fit to your strut, the screws. And I didn't fancy taking them off. So these have been sitting pretty here. And the nice thing is these are already pre... pre. Oh, don't scratch it, Rob. Don't scratch it on camera. Uh, it's going to have to be really careful. But uh, these um, these were fit last year as well. I, took, I did like a semi-restoration. But I got the chance to uh, paint everything else that I didn't paint last year. And uh, I jumped to that. So, uh, footboard strips. While I'm fitting these uh, footboard strips, I, I thought I'd come with uh, one of those uh, Rob's famous tips. <laughs> the best way to avoid your uh, screwdriver slipping and gouging a uh, gaping hole in your uh, new paintwork while you're fitting the footboard strips is... Um, <laughs> which, <laughs> which one is loose? <laughs> ah, this one is loose is you gently lower your screwdriver onto the screw and then use your ratchet and what I find is the best way the, <laughs> to give you the biggest chance of not slipping with the screwdriver and this also goes for the end caps is turn your ratchet and not your screwdriver this way, there you go, nice and tight. Not too tight, obviously. You don't want to make uh, big marks in the uh, in your paintwork, and you don't need to tighten it so hard that um, you make dints in the metalwork. And then, voila, no scratches. Famous last words.
it's um, really easy to rush these things while you're doing them when you're getting closer and closer to your goal now these uh, preformed rubbers for the series two from Scootopia absolutely brilliant uh, the problem I had now was I have a reproduction uh, front mug guard and I really have to coax that bugger on so when you're doing this just tighten the screws evenly and uh, slowly and do sort of up and down down up up and down <laughs> up up and down up up and down so just got one little job that I have to do before or that I can do at least before I uh, call it a day oh shit don't scratch your paint now Rob <laughs> and that is I uh, thought I fit my emblems now I bent these to shape it's sitting very nicely there, I think, young man. And it's a little bit scary because I know I've got a bit of um, a bit of filler around the holes here. Because I, if you remember, I welded up the holes for the bottom emblem because they were a bit too big, and I re-drilled them. What I did, I'm not sure if you could see that. What I did was actually brought them closer together on purpose. And I think that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Right, there she is with the front mug guard on. I've got two rid, <laughs> my mascot, my badges are on. Um, normally I get my wife to uh, hold the badges while I peeing them over on the back, but my wife is hoovering really hard in the house I probably something to do with the fact that I've been in the garage quite a lot lately <laughs> so I don't want to bother with that just yet uh, it's getting really really late here I used ages on this just on these finishing details and uh, when it's completely done I will do a proper walk around on it but I just really really need to uh, fire this up check the timing fit the uh, rear floorboards and we should be good to go so, as I said, the next time you'll see her, she'll be complete. And I've bought some trinkets for it. I've actually bought an <laughs> a emblem <laughs> for the front. And uh, something for the uh, side panels as well. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I really, I'm really pedantic when it comes to like uh, gaps between um, bodywork and stuff like that. And that's why I'm using a lot of time on this. But uh, not really a lot of time, because I did complete it because tomorrow <laughs> is Sunday still uh, January for us and I will fire it up check the timing put it all together and uh, when spring comes at, at the moment we've got like false spring so it's about five degrees outside it's uh, really really stormy and in two weeks time it'll probably snow like mad again so it's not going to be until about March until you see this baby if you look over there can you see it in the corner there, in the naughty corner? That is a TV 175. And I'll talk to you about that in the next Lambretta video. Right, so don't forget, if you like this kind of stuff, do the old subscribe, give me the thumbs up. You can support the channel by buying merch. You can even buy me a coffee. Plenty did that last time. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really need those memory cards. And uh, I love you and leave you. And see you all in the next one. Ta-ra.